Good afternoon, everybody. It's your old pal, Cappy. And, you know, I got another rain inferno today. And it's been a while. I keep seeing this one in stores, but I kept forgetting to buy it. And, well, now I have it. This one is Rain Inferno True Blue. In fact, I think there's actually one more flavor of this, too. Um, I have no idea what to expect from this one because you know okay the green was jalapeno the red was just kind of like a spicy red okay red makes sense for spicy what the heck is blue so the thing about rain inferno is there's capsaicin in these so um it makes it spicy now i didn't find the red one particularly spicy but the green one with the jalapeno i thought was pretty it had a kick to it um <clears throat> I really have no idea what to expect. Actually, you know what? That's a lie. Their their mantra for this one is that this is burning calories because it has something in it that helps you burn calories. And the capsaicin is just extra. This is true blue, so blue da ba dee da ba die. Um, I, I re what, what is blue? What is this going to taste? <laughs> what is this supposed to be? Blueberry? doesn't say it just says blue and it's not even spelled right it's spelled like um it's blu they forgot the e how how, how silly are you guys uh coca-cola company right i think this is a actually is this monster i can't remember who owns rain anymore there's so many of these companies um rain beverage company all right i th i think it's a parent company of monster i believe anyway um, let's take a look at the other stuff recommended. 18, recommended for persons, not people, persons. I don't know why that is the uh, grammatical choice sometimes. Um, 18 years or older. So here's your warning label down there. Don't drink this if you're sensitive to the caffeine. Does this one say don't mix with alcohol? No, it doesn't. <laughs> only the, only the, only that one thing says don't mix with alcohol from uh, Lytles. Um, so you can see here, rain fuel. It's uh, inferno fuel, I guess. I don't know. They gotta keep, they gotta keep their uh, branding straight. Uh, Three hundred milligrams of natural caffeine helps burn calories, accelerates metabolism, reduces fatigue. Branch chain amino acids. That's that seems like it's out of um. <laughs> it seems like the odd one out there. And increased concentration because like here's your caffeine. Oh no, these two are like the odd ones. I don't know. There's no rhyme or reason to any of this. <laughs> zero artificial sugar. Zero or zero artificial color sugar. Uh, artificial flavors and there's zero fat per can. Good. That's not something that you should advertise. There's not supposed to be fat in energy drinks. They don't use milk. So this thing is worthless. You don't need to see that. Um, ah, here it goes. Thermomatic ingredients increase me metabolic energy levels to produce heat. So if you drink this, you'll be hot. Well, great. It's like It's been like 80 degrees outside lately, so whatever all right serving size is one can there's no fruit juice in this oh around the top it, it gives you that stupid thermogenic fuel nonsense amino acids citrulline that's another thing that's in these energy drinks um let's get to your facts and ingredients zero oh no not zero 10 calories there's 10 calories in this probably um sugar alcohol or something like that um Zero grams total fat, 220 milligrams of sodium, three grams total carbohydrates, zero sugar, zero added sugar, zero grams protein, two percent, 80 percent, 80 milligrams, <laughs> 80 milligrams of potassium, 120 percent of your daily B6, 130 percent of your daily B3, niacin, and 250 percent of B12. And the ingredients are... Carbonated water, citric acid, natural flavors, L-citrulline, sodium citrate, Panax ginseng extract, L-leucine, caffeine, L-isoline, L-valine, potassium sorbate, sucralose, potassium citrate, sodium benzoate, acylfame potassium, niacinamide, 
Magnesium Citrate, L-Carnite, L-Tartrate, Coenzyme Q10, Green Tea Extract, 45% EG... EGCG. I have no idea what that is. Pyrodixine Hydrochloride. Capsaicin. Uh, ol Olesine. Cyanocobalamin. So there's a capsaicin. So they add a little bit of spice in this to help you burn calories. That's that's their idea is they put in spicy thing. So capsaicin is what makes peppers spicy, right? Or it's one of the things that do. Um, let's open this. So it's not... <laughs> it's another problem, right? There's no color in this. It's going to be clear. So what's the point of calling this true blue? Is that what... <laughs> It's just an enigma. That's all this is. This is such an enigma. Oh my god, I just like broke the can. Oh, it smells really spicy. Just from like opening it. Um, let's have a smell. It's you see, there's no color to it. You knew that. You knew that was going to be the case. It was going to have no color. Um. <coughs> oh, mm. oh, that was a kick in the nose, man. Oh, that was a very... It's like smelling pepper. <laughs> um, there's also like a... It's its like a spider's web. Like, you get that... You, you heard me coughing. That's how, how potent it smells or pungent or whatever. Um... But there's also like a sweetness to it. Like there's a really nice sweet undertone. If you can stand smelling like pepper spray in your nose. Um, it what, what kind of sweetness to it? I don't know. It's like kind of a generic sweetness. But it's definitely like almost fruity as well. Um, man, I don't want to smell it again because it's, it's really hard to breathe it in. Um... Um, blueberry, maybe, maybe uh, that's, that's, that's what I want to say it is. Maybe that's why it's blue, true blue. Let's have a sip. Flavor wise, it's tame though. Like I don't detect any of that spice. Um... I, I detect blueberry and pomegranate. I mean, that's a cop-out, but I detect it. And I want to say it's more pomegranate-like than, pomegranate than blueberry. So the first sip you get fizzy water, you know, all that kind of sweetness. Um, middle part, just a generic kind of sweetness. It's fake sugar. It's sucralose runs rampant in this one. Um, it doesn't taste like actual real sugary sugar taste alternative. Um, but then in the end it gets like tart. It gets like a nice earthy tartness, which is why I was on the fence about whether it was blueberry or pomegranate or both. It's not, see, see at times I think it's more tart than it is, you know, sweet. Which is why I say it's blueberry, but then, like, my first reaction to this was, oh, this tastes more like pomegranate. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, not spicy at all, what whatsoever. This doesn't have the same little kick as the, um, jalapeno one. I think that was, um, I think that was its own thing, the, the jalapeno one. That it was actually spicy. Even though there is capsaicin in this. We read the ingredients. Is it tasty? Not really. The problem is the sucralose. The, it, that's the problem. It's, it's, um, if you can't make the, if you can't put a buffer there with, with its fake sugar taste, it's going to ruin the whole flavor for me. And that's what this is. There's not enough other flavor to keep it in check. Aftertaste is completely just fake sugar aftertaste. It's terrible. Um, overall, this is... It's bad, but...
but it's not like super bad. I could drink this again if I had no other choice. It's like a step above like the Mountain Dew Kickstarters, but like that's like a really small step to be quite honest. Uh, the red one was much better to be quite honest. Um, so I guess it's blueberry pomegranate, and if you really like that, then maybe try this. But honestly, you can leave this line to, you know, die out. Let its reign of terror be over. Uh, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this a um, squeaky wheel on a cart out of rad. <laughs>